Welcome to Linus Tech Tips. Today's unboxing is going to be extremely high tech. Yes, we have two cameras, and one of them isn't on a tripod. See, slick, give it a little, give it a little dance. Yeah, thanks, okay, that's enough. Uh, <laughs> so slick is gonna be on the one camera with diesel on the other camera, and we are gonna be unboxing the Kraken X40 from NZXT. This is the world's first all-in-one 140 millimeter liquid cooler, and that gives it a huge, surface area advantage over its competition, which is generally using 120 millimeters or some derivative thereof, such as dual 120 millimeters. Now, there's an X60 as well, but this version right here is the one that's gonna fit in the widest variety of cases, because let me tell you guys, a dual 140 millimeter radiator is not gonna fit in too many cases. However, when it does, once again, due to the huge surface area advantage it has over a dual 120, we are gonna see some serious performance improvements. Now, I've been saying for a long time, basically since they showed up, that these all-in-one liquid coolers are limited, not by the pump, not by the water block design, but by the surface area of the radiator. So something like a Corsair H100 addressed that in a big way compared to its predecessors, but this should be the next evolutionary step forward. So in terms of packaging, we've got an environmentally friendly cardboard package here. We have a simple instruction manual with a disc that you may actually want to install, I don't know, version 1.1, see if there's a newer one on NZXT's website. Here, I mean, if you haven't installed an Asetek all-in-one before, then this will be new to you. If you have, then you've been doing this for years because the OEM for this particular unit is Asetek. NZXT includes their fan design. So you can see here it's a nine blade fan design that looks fairly well optimized for static pressure, but it's hard to say without proper testing equipment. There you go, it has black sleeving on it, which of course diesel will have super in focus, so it looks super awesome. High quality sleeving on this guy. Look at that, that's outstanding. And black wires inside with nice tight sheet shrink, so that's gonna look just, just stunning, actually. Hardware-wise, we've got all the mounting kit that you could possibly need for everything from 775 to AMD, AM3, FM1, FM2, 1156, 1366, and finally 2011. So you can mount this bad boy on pretty much anything that you could possibly want to. Now, on the box itself, you can see they've just got a simple picture. They've got their two-year warranty called out. So. Uh, it's not the longest warranty ever, but honestly, guys, Asetek's been making these all-in-one liquid coolers for a long time, so they pretty much know what's up at this point. They're saying 36% more surface area. Now, that should equate, this is not probably not even quite right, guys, because remember, the hub of a fan is actually the same size whether you're looking at a 140 millimeter or a 120 millimeter fan. So we're getting more actual blade airflow going through the thing area than just the actual 36% improvement. So larger surface area, blah, 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 something, something. Here's some noise in decibels compared to whatever else they're comparing to. There's some general specs. So the motor speed runs at 2,900 RPM, voltage is 12 volt. Okay, okay, material rubber, blah, 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 completely sealed. Ah, yes, people still ask me this. They're completely sealed. They're maintenance free, these all-in-one liquid coolers. So it's all good. Let's go ahead and have a close look at the radiator itself. So here we are taking it out of the box. Wow, look at this. This comes with a really long uh, tubing on it. All right, oh, look at these. Look at the sleeving on this. That's outstanding. So I love. NZXT does a really good job, actually, of all the stuff that they use their own uh, sleeving procedures on. So uh, there's a couple things. There's their extension cables, there's their fans, and now there's their all-in-one liquid cooling units. Look at that, all black wires all beautifully sleeved cables. So what do we have coming out of here? Number one is USB. So you can use this to control the software. So the Kraken series does come with control software. It's not 100% mature yet, but in time that should improve. Got a nice long USB cable here. So what I would expect to do with this is I would be mounting it in my case like this. Then I would go up around the back of the motherboard tray. Looks like you got enough length to come right under the bottom of the motherboard, or you could even go off to the right, see with the NZXT logo being on the right there, go behind the motherboard there and then come out the bottom. So that's what I do in terms of cable routing. Here we've got RPM monitoring. Actually, no, that might, that's, uh, that's power. So power is gonna go to your CPU fan header right here. You're gonna wanna leave your CPU fan header on full speed, guys. And then you're gonna plug in your, what in the heck is this? One moment, please. Oh yeah, that won't work. 
because we're doing live to tape. Okay, I figured it out anyway. So you can do push-pull natively off of the cooler itself, but one of them is missing the RPM monitoring lead, so that, that makes sense now. <laughs> yeah, that, that was awkward. Okay, so let's have a close look at the unit itself. Just gonna go ahead and switch to Diesel's camera. The bottom has a high-quality thermal compound on the copper base, and then the same Asetek uh, mounting mechanism that we've seen before. The logo here does illuminate, so that should look really good in your case. And the tubing, as I said, is quite long. Now, this is still one quarter inch tubing. However, I'm not convinced that with these all-in-ones, it's going to make that much of a difference in terms of performance. And when I compare this to what I've seen from the H80i and the H100i, the tubing is much more flexible when you have a nice thick wall and you keep a one quarter inch tubing versus a three eighths inch tubing. Like I said before, I don't think we're block or pump or flow limited. I think we're surface area limited with these things. It's not like an H80i performs better than an H100i because of the fact that it just has thicker tubing. It doesn't work that way. More surface area equals more better. So speaking of surface area, the radiator itself uses quite a dense fin array. So you can actually get right in close there, presumably, since diesel's taking care of all that. And you can see that the more pressure you use on the fan for this guy, this will really benefit from a push-pull setup, and it'll also benefit from pressure-optimized fans, such as Noctua NF uh, A14s. Those would be a really good choice for this rad. I think that pretty much takes care of it. Other than that, we've just got the uh, slightly rotatable uh, fittings here, so you're going to have a lot of flexibility in terms of mounting. And also, the fact that because it can be sort of positioned at the back of your case here, and then you can maneuver this almost anywhere without kinking it. You have a lot of flexibility in terms of your installation. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look in our new style of the Kraken X40. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.